Hello, VC. Crazy Jimmy here, coming at you with another Acid Archive Diary submission from the second edition book. So today is going to be um, a submission by the band Sleepy Hollow. Let me just show you the actual. Here it is. An original pressing with hype sticker. There's the sleeve, pretty cool sleeve. Got like a, a thin woman there, really tall, narrow woman with some crying like people behind uh, bars. <laughs> so pretty neat. And then there's the, some of the band members there nestled in, I don't know, what looks like ivy and plants. And this is on the family label, which is the same label that the the first, the very first Billy Joel album was released on, which is kind of rare to find a uh, family records Billy Joel label. But that's the one you want for Billy Joel's early, I uh, forgot which one was, maybe the not the self-title, but the one that came after it. But there's Family Productions, Sleepy Hollow. I want to say this was 1972, but let's go to the page here. Yep, 1972, spot on. So just something real quick before I read the submission here. Uh, this, this album was actually released as a tax scam album in 1977. So like the, the the master tapes were stolen from the band and just put out on one of those tax scam releases. Uh, I believe the name was changed. I think we'll get into that here in a second. Um, it was released on Tiger Lily, credited to the lead singer songwriter's last name, Belay. Richard Belay is the the main artist here. Obviously, it's a band, but Richard Belay handled uh, the vocals and writing, piano, all that good stuff. So, but it was um, the tapes were taken and released as Belay on Tiger Lily, you know. So Morris Levy, uh, <laughs> but you know I shouldn't say that Morris Levy uh, is big of a crook as he was. He brought us some pretty cool releases that we might not have heard of or seen without it so uh, I think he was part of that Stonewall fiasco um, and many 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 others on the Tiger Lily label but that's for another show and actually I think I covered some of it in a past Acid Archive diary submission so but let's get back to Sleepy Hollow 1972 uh, Beatlesque 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 if you love the Beatles if you love Badfinger if you love John Lennon's solo work like early solo work, so I'm going to say Mind Games um, and Prior. Uh, you will absolutely love this uh, Sleepy Hollow, self-titled Sleepy Hollow album on Family Records from 1972. Absolutely love it. So Badfinger, Beatles, Lennon, you're all over it. So let me just read a little bit from, from the book. So the first two songs here are the most uncanny Beatles sound-alikes you'll ever hear. Now, I, I don't know if I agree with that, but um, they're Beatlesque, but they're not like the, the most. Um, the first is the perfect blend of Abbey Road and Plastic Ono Band, and the second mixes pure 1965-style harmonies, so I'm thinking like Rubber Soul Revolver, with 1969-style production. So this album gets big points for nostalgia value, like Blue Ash, I think is back there. You can probably see Blue Ash right there over my shoulder. Badfinger, Zerfus, Anonymous, those are band names, We All Together, Jade, and so on. It gives comfort to people who wish the Beatles never broke up. The vocals throughout are pure Lennon, which I agree with, 
very similar to Lazy Smoke, but a bit more subdued or studied. Sorry, on my glasses again. The rest of the album is hit and miss, which I disagree with. With the upbeat songs better than the ballads, disagree. And by the way, the, the, the song I played at the start of this video, uh, pronounced Hades, is the last song on, um, I want to say it's the last, hold on, maybe it's not Hades. Yeah, Hades, the last song on the album, six minutes long. So that's the, the track that kind of led off. That's one of the ballads with that Lennon-esque um, echo on his vocals and just the piano work, the chord changes, the whole nine yards. So Lennon, spot on. Um, but back to this. The vocals throughout are pure Lennon, very similar to Lazy Smoke, but in a more studied, but are more studied. The rest of the album is hit or miss with the upbeat songs better than the ballads. Even the weak songs have that magical feel. <clears throat> Though in some ways, this feels like a McCartney solo album. Everything sounds great, but there's something a bit, sorry about the pun, <laughs> hollow to it. Uh, I don't know if I agree with that. The long song that closes the album, which I led this video off with, unfortunately is not especially compelling. Disagree. <laughs> <clears throat> if it had been up to the level of the best songs here, this would have been something truly special. As it is, Sleepy Hollow is definitely recommended for the three or four winners and of course, <clears throat> the Deja Vu Factor. The LP was also released by our tax scam friends at Tiger Lily in 1976, credited to Belay, which is the last name of the lead singer, Richard Belay. This was written by initials AM. So there you have it. That's the submission there. <clears throat> like I said, I, I kind of disagree with that. Um, I think this album is strong throughout uh, just obviously my opinion. I'm a huge Beatles fan, so I love Badfinger. I love Blue Ash. I like Blue. I like all the bands kind of associated with this sound and what was going on back in the early 70s. So, of course, I'm going to probably like it more than other people might. Um, so, like I said, if you're, you know, if you love that, that Badfinger Beatles sound, especially like Revolver On, um, in solo John Lennon, especially, there'll be nothing, you'll love every single song on this. This will be like one of your new favorite albums over the next few weeks. So definitely want to seek this out. It's not too expensive. You can pick up like a used copy, not in the shrink in original. And by the way, stick, you know, I don't think this has been repressed, but stick to the original if it has, uh, cause the sound on this is just phenomenal. I don't know if you could tell by the snippet I played how good, how great this sounds, but uh, the soundstage is wide, three-dimensional, it's transparent. Uh, the extension in the top end is phenomenal. The bottom end is, is huge. Just a great, great cut. And you could have, you know, you can pick one of these originals up in VG condition for probably 30 bucks these days and um you know something in this condition with the hype sticker you're probably looking at a hundred bucks but you know if you're a hardcore collector like me you know look for something like this here with the hype uh i believe they're out there uh not sure how many were pressed but there there's enough to go around for sure so sleepy hollow 1972 self-titled album thanks for watching please hit subscribe if you like uh, what you're hearing and seeing I'll have some more content up soon, uh, and I look forward to uh, seeing you guys all later on. Peace.